What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to another beta build review for the alpha series of 0.12.1. I'm excited, today I have beta build 11 and I have some awesome stuff to show you and some awesome news to share as well. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. First things first, I do want to apologize for the lack of activity in the comments and on Twitter and stuff like that recently. School just started, I actually just finished my first week, so I've been pretty busy, but I'm still trying to keep it rolling with YouTube. So no worries there, I just want to let you guys know, but I uh, am. Yeah, that's basically it. So, let's go ahead and get into the actual stuff we're talking about here, Alpha Build 11, which actually may be the last build. So, let's start this off with a little bit of release news. I know you guys love uh, learning about, uh, basically, updates of when this thing may come out, and as you guys can see here... I'll flash this tweet on screen, I have some pretty awesome information. So, Daniel Wassenhoff was tweeting about Build 10 a few days ago, and he got a question, well, is Build 10 going to be the last build? And of course, he did not say yes, but he did say there will be at least one more, sadly, as there are still some big issues we want to fix, but we're close. So, he said at least one more build, which means this potentially could be the last build. Now, if it is not, Chances are that there may be a build 12, and I guess I get into that. Basically, the, the options for us are, the options of what's going to happen is, this is the last build, and then any bugs in this build are going to be fixed for the final release, which is a great possibility, or we're going to have another build, and then the bugs in that build are going to be fixed for the final release, and I think those are the two biggest I guess biggest chances of outcomes we have here. I don't think, I would be extremely surprised if by the end of this upcoming week, the, the full update is not submitted into the app stores. I really would be surprised. So hopefully we do see that that is the case. But yeah, this may actually be the last build. I wouldn't completely count on it, but it definitely is really, really close to completely polished because we can see that really we're just getting bug fixes now, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get into these tweaks and bug fixes within this actual build. Beta Build 11. So, for the first change, they actually did add a brand new enchanted book to the creative menu, which is a pretty awesome thing. I'll get into that in just a second, but here is the actual book. It is the Silk Touch 1 book. Now, ooh, battery's going low. I gotta hurry up. But yeah, so, basically, obviously, you cannot actually use enchantment tables or anvils or chests or anything like that in creative. There's no use to it. But they are still adding potions, they're still adding tools, and they're still adding enchanted books. So, what I'm thinking is sooner or later, they're gonna eventually have to add functionality in creative mode for all of the different uh, enchantment tables, crafting tables, chests, all sorts of things, furnaces. So I think eventually they will be adding the support for that. I don't think it will be in 0.12.0, but maybe in the next update. So that is pretty cool. Let's move along to the next tweet. So as you guys can see, I'm flying around now. This is an issue that a lot of people were having, and basically once you exited your world, you wouldn't actually continue flying. Flying. But let's say I stop right over this pool of water. I'll go ahead and exit the world. And then I'll go ahead and it'll take a while, but I should, yes, I can join back in. And as you guys can clearly see, I'm still flying, I still have the fry controls available, and I'm in the same exact spot. So that's something that actually never happened before, so it's really, really good for people that are building something massive and want to keep their place. And it's just, it's a thing, it's a small thing, but it's a pretty uh, convenient uh, feature, for sure. Also, another thing, you used to have to craft the enchantment table through a stone cutter, which is kind of weird, but now you can actually craft craft it through a regular uh, crafting table. Also, I thought I would mention that the power enchantment has gotten a little bit of a buff and it is a lot stronger now, just like the PC version. So that is pretty cool for all of you guys that were worrying why your power enchantment wasn't as powerful as you hoped. You should be seeing improvements in that as soon as you get this beta build. <laughs> So, as you guys know, one of the coolest mobs in the game is the zombie pigmen, and they've added they've added something pretty cool. Now, of course, they used to be able to spawn with awesome armor, sometimes enchanted. Now they can actually spawn with, there we go, an enchanted sword. So sometimes you will be able to pick up their swords and armor, and it's really, really cool. It adds to some, it, it just adds, just adds a ton to survival to be able to pick up the armor that you actually get off of monsters. It's completely realistic, and it's really awesome. So yeah, enchanted swords 
and enchanted armor, those guys are very, very challenging. As always, there were a ton of different bug fixes I did not get to mentioning in this video. That's just because there's a lot and they're really not too interesting. But if you guys would like to check them out all for yourselves, maybe you were having a specific bug and you want to see if it got fixed, you can easily check out the change log by following the link in the description. But that is really it for build 11. Maybe, possibly, the last build. We're not sure yet. I wouldn't hold it against the developers if they add out another one or two builds. But like I said, I would be extremely surprised if this update was not submitted to app stores by the end of this coming week. So that is basically it. I hope you guys did enjoy this quick little build review. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.